Hey guys, I'm back again and I have for you today a review of Aya. Okay, so you remember Aya. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now, I have to tell you, I really enjoyed these graphic novels. Fantastic. First of all, they read very quickly. You quickly get into the story, and you quickly start to like the characters. I mean, you like Aya right from the beginning, but some of her friends, in the, you kind of don't like her friends in the beginning, and suddenly you start to like them. You get very implicated into what's going to happen next, and so there's always... Uh, cliff mini cliffhanger at the end of each album the writing is really funny sometimes it's serious sometimes it's surprising sometimes it's sad and sometimes it's funny and so i think it's really good when a, a graphic novel can bring out all of those emotions in the reader as you're going along now there's other things i liked about the book at the end of each book there are recipes and you know how to do things that talk about the culture in the Ivory Coast. And that is fantastic, along with a recipe or two. And I just think that's fan. I might even do some of these recipes because some of them sound really good. Now, basically, the storyline, as you know, covers quite a lot of things, quite a lot of themes. It covers themes like uh, women, families, um, what families expect of their daughters, also the relationship between families that live in the village, uh, like in the country and those that live in the city, how traditions and superstitions sometimes invade their everyday life. Uh, it's something that they can't shake off. It's part of who they are. It's part of their culture and how it enters into their everyday life and how sometimes this can cause a bit of craziness. Also, the way women are treated in general in this book, you get a good idea that it's not easy being a woman in the Ivory Coast. It's not easy to be modern either. Um, and you see there are lots of things that go wrong. Also about sexuality, homosexuality, the difficulty of that, of families accepting these things. But most of all, what I liked about the book is that it's really like you're getting a sneak peek into someone's life because the book the books end on a note which is as if though life is still going on and I like that aspect it doesn't have everything tied up perfectly it basically is you stop watching from here but life still goes on so that's uh, kind of an interesting concept but if you haven't read it, I think you really should check it out. It's great. You might learn some things about the Ivory Coast. You might learn some African words because there are like glossaries as well in the back for the different expressions that are used. The books are beautifully published, um, as you can see, hardback. And when you open, you have this end paper, which is like an African motif. And you have a different one for each book which is also kind of nice. So this one you have like the camouflage. At the beginning of each book, they have uh, two pages which kind of goes over the different characters and what's happening with them at the moment, which I thought was kind of cute as well because that kind of gives it a little soap opera tone to it. Yeah, now the writers of the story, it's um, Marguerite Aboué and Clément um, uh, Oubrey. And actually, she is from the Ivory Coast. And these are her memories, things, you know, from her memories that she's just inspired and turned them into a fictional story from living in the Ivory Coast. And I think um, Clément Aubery lived some, uh, a couple of years, I think, in the Ivory Coast. So he knows it really well. And that's why the drawings are so well done. I mean, the artwork is fantastic. Um, let me just see if I can show you some. Yeah, look at this. The detail is, it's incredible. You know, the hairstyles, the expressions, the city life, it's amazing. 
he really has, you know, this was like an excellent duo between the two of them. Inspiring from her childhood and then and her writing along with his artwork was just the best duo ever. I mean, I mean everything, the expressions, it's, it's just well done. I think it's a really cute comic and you should really have a look at it. It's very different from the comics that we're used to reading. So I give Aya anywhere from four to four and a half stars. Check it out. If you have checked it out, link me a comment below and tell me what you thought about it. And that's all I have for you today. Bye-bye.